Hi, today we are gonna go over a few tips and techniques for decorating sugar cookies with royal icing. If you ordered and received a cookie kit from us, uh, there's a few things inside it that we should get out and talk about real fast. First of all, there's the royal icing and these bags. And if it had been sitting for a few days, which uh, most likely it had um, given the mail time that was required, the water in the royal icing will have separated some. So you, you might see some discoloration in the bottom near the tip of the icing bags. And so we just need to massage all of the bags um, of icing to get them all mixed together really well. Um, otherwise, when it comes out of the bag at the end in the beginning, it will be really runny and then all of the thicker parts gonna be up in the top. So just go through and massage, massage each one of them and get them um, mixed together real good. So uh, the other things that we need in order to do this is uh, if you have a kit, you will have a stick, this yellow stick. If not, you'll need a toothpick um, and then you'll need some scissors I use these uh, funny looking scissors. They're like embroidery scissors, but um, just anything that you can use to cut the tips of the bags and make it very sharp because we need to make very small holes in the end. Um, this is my scribe uh, that I will use instead of this yellow stick. Um, you'll also need a damp paper towel. Um, anything that, uh, that is just damp enough to just keep it moistened on the ends of the bag so that they don't dry out. Um, we'll have our decorated cookies. I'm sorry, our undecorated cookies that we are going to decorate. Uh, here's some examples that I have done that I just wanted to show you. The other thing that we're gonna do is you should have also received um, this page that is cookie templates and also some shapes down here. We're gonna use this as just a, a little practice session before you start actually decorating your cookies. So to get started, let's go ahead and snip off the ends of these icing bags. And then once you cut them off, um, just lean them up a little bit and then cover it with your damp paper towel. So you want to take it and just kind of gently squeeze it at the end and barely snip that end off. So you have a small hole. You can always make it bigger if it's not big enough. So go pretty small to begin with. So we're gonna save the black for, for last. It's pretty messy and we're only doing a very little bit of black on these cookies anyway. So let's just hold off on the black for now. So here's my red. I'm gonna do that. And then the last one for now, blue. Snip that off right there. I might've gotten that one a little bit bigger than I wanted to, but anyway. Okay, so those are covered up for now. So grab your piece of paper and just make sure it's laying flat on your surface. And let's use the red just because you can see it pretty easily. The first thing we wanna do is this line right here. And if you don't have yours on what printed out for you, Go ahead and we'll do this line here on this square. I think on the email it might have um, not shown up. So let's just start here on this square. You're gonna let a little bit fall out, gently squeeze and raise the tip, go all the way down, gently touch back down, stop squeezing and lift. And then you wanna go down and let's do another one. Gently squeeze, Raise it just a little, and follow the line, and touch back down, stop squeezing, and raise. We're gonna do another one here. Let's just fill in this square. That's good. And now this one, and you've done your first square. Circles can be hard. Um, it's more about the pressure, I think, than anything else and making sure that you do it the same the whole way. So let's just start. Since I'm right-handed, I'm gonna start this direction and work 
towards my right. If you're left-handed, you might want to go the other direction. Start at the right and go to the left. And if it breaks, that's okay, just like mine did. Just want to touch it back down, raise it up just a little bit, and go all the way around, just like that. And then touch down, stop squeezing, and release. And now just to show you how easy this is to fix when you make a mistake, this one you just take your, your stick, your yellow stick or your scribe, and just gently fill it back in. Now we're not gonna you fill this circle in with the icing. I don't wanna waste the icing like that. But that's just to give you an idea of how it feels with the royal icing because it's very different than using like buttercream icing or something that's much thicker and, and harder. This is very liquid and it has to be so it will dry correctly. Um, so you just have to get used to how, how thin it is and how fast it flows. Okay, so here's our undecorated cookies. Um, because you have to do things in phases, uh, there's a certain order that we want to do these in. And we are going to do the snowflake, and then the snow globe, and then the, the tie-dash shirt. And then once we finish this tie-dash shirt, we'll go back and we'll do the detail on the snowflake and the globe. Um, if you see this as an example, you know this is one with the blue on the bottom and the white as the detail. Um, this just needs to firm up just for a little bit, dry a little bit and then you can go back on top of it and do the detail. If you want, you can do it the reverse, and you can do the white first, and then the light blue on top, whichever you prefer. So, um, since I have the most of the light blue, I'm gonna go ahead and do my snowflake in light blue as the base coat. So if you want to, you can move your other cookies out of the way. All right, so, here we go, we're gonna go ahead and get started. And like I said, I, I start on the opposite side of whichever is your, is your hand that you typically write with. So I'm gonna to go to the end, you're gonna squeeze just a little bit. You're gonna just follow the lines, just like if you're coloring a picture and you wanna just outline the picture. So we're just gonna outline this cookie. Go all the way around. And as long as you're keeping consistent pressure, it should follow through. And if it's a little bit runny, just don't get too close to the edge so that it falls off. And if it does a little bit, you can always use your scribe and, and pull it back in. And just like, see, I got a little ahead of myself there, but we'll come back through and we'll fix it. It's a little bit of a mistake, but we can cover it up make it look like nothing happened okay so while we're here before it has a t has a chance to dry it wrong go ahead if you've got any mistakes just take your scribe your stick and just kind of gently blend it back in fix any kind of imperfections there okay mine looks okay so i'm going to go ahead now and just start filling these in and the best thing to do is to just follow those lines again. And you wanna get right up to the edge of that outline that you made, as close as you can. If yours is real runny, just don't squeeze too much. Just let it barely flow out. And just keep filling in the, the shape. And see, it's about to get finished. We're almost there, almost. And then in the circle. Okay, so now you take your scribe again. And you want to just kind of gently move it in a circle, some kind of circle fashion all the way around. And see it's starting to already begin to dry some. And you want to end up in the middle like this. And then you want to take it, take your, your pointy end, just almost barely stick it into the cookie so you can shake it and let it move that icing and let it fall through. And then you wanna just gently pull your, your 
scribe back out. Make sure that that isn't too big of a, a mess there and sticking up. If it is, just kind of poke it back down. It'll, it'll be fine once it dries. And clean your scribe off. Clean that end off so you have a nice clean one. So we're gonna set our icing bag back down under the damp towel. Move this one out of the way. And then we're gonna go for the snow globe. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do this blue part, like what is up here. And then we'll come back with our red and we'll do our base. So here we go. We're gonna do a circle. This one's, this one's a little harder. All the way around. And then just kind of come across. Now we're gonna fill it in, just like we did the snowflake. Go in a circle, all the way up to the edge. Remember, if, it, if yours is real runny, just don't squeeze hard. Just go real easy and let it just kind of go on to the cookie. Not all the way so it'll fall off the edge though. Um, it'll, it will be okay if it doesn't go all the way to the edge. See, mine doesn't go all the way to the edge either. Um, it's kind of hard to do and not let it make a big mess. So now we're gonna just go in a circle like this again, and that just helps the icing just to form better and go real smooth. Stick it into the cookie, give it a shake, get all those little bumps and, and nicks out of it, let it sit there. Now, one thing I forgot to do is get my sprinkles, because if you have a kit, then you should have some sprinkles in it. Grab mine real fast. Okay, sorry about that. I got to get those. You want to do these while this icing is wet. And I like to use these little white balls, these little pretty white ones that looks like snow. You wanna get a few of them in your hand and just gently let them fall, hold it up a little higher. You, know, you don't want to be right down on it or else it might, you might poke your cookie and, and they, they just look more realistic if you get it back a little bit. I'm gonna put a few more on there. And then I'm also gonna show you, if you don't have sprinkles, what you can do with your icing. There we go. I think that looks like plenty. Okay. So if you don't have any sprinkles to make it look like snow, while it's still wet, you wanna take your white and we just gently squeeze just a little dot like that. So you can almost tell the difference between that one and the sprinkles. Another dot there, just a few more. Just so you see what it does, what it looks like. You don't have to have sprinkles, but they are fun. So there should be another um, thing of sprinkles in your kit, if you have some besides these, uh, that would be some color. So get those handy. And if you want to, you can put them down here once the red icing is on here. Um, if you don't, if you wanna leave it plain, just leave it red and it looks pretty that way too. So now get your red, same thing that we did on the other ones. We're gonna just trace this outline Take the line over and go up. And then we're gonna go right next to that blue. Back over and then just start filling it in. Doesn't have to be perfect because we can clean it up with our scribe and push the icing where we need to. Right here, start going around, moving it around just in a little circles because you don't need that much to make it work. Okay, so if you want to put some sprinkles on the red um, and make it you know, have nice pretty colors to it, you can do that. I'm going to leave mine plain. Okay, so now we're finished with that one for now. And we're going to gently move it over to the side too so it isn't in our way while we're doing our tie-dye. 
I'm gonna move this one over. The tie dye is gonna go pretty fast because in order to make this swirl, this pattern, the icing has to stay wet. So the first thing that we wanna start with is the red. And we're gonna make just a, a swirl. I'm gonna go around like that. Okay. And then just go back and make it kind of double. So it's wider, it's a bigger swirl. Let's go a little more in like that, okay? And now I'm gonna put the, the blue next to the red. And you don't have to get it quite as close as the others. You, you don't want it to bleed into it too much. And color that in with your icing. Go back in like this. I'd leave that center part and we'll put some white in there. Okay, well, let's fill in that circle with some white. And now we're gonna go down here, with the white on the outside of the red. And just, and it's okay if it kind of does that little crinkle look. That's about pressure, how fast you're squeezing the icing bag. Come through here, cover that blue up. Okay, so now it's time for the red. And on this one, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through and color the in or fill in these edges as well. And you don't want it to go too far, so you don't want it to fall off the edge. Just wanna kind of line it like that. And then just fill it in. Almost there. Same thing here. And on this one, we aren't gonna go all the way over. You still want it to have some pattern to it. Like that. Okay. And so let's just make another kind of swirl pattern here and see if we can get a few more designs out of it. And then fill this in. And it looks kind of weird right now, but it will be fine once we get finished. Fill that in, go in the middle there. Color the next part here. Come. Fill that one in there. Go ahead and fill in that whole little sleeve area like that. And we need to finish this one in as well with your icing. Now let's do some white. And fill that in. Just fill it all the way in. Okay, and I might have put too much on there. Happens sometimes. But you can't really see what you're doing while you're finishing it out. Okay, so now here's the part that makes it look like tie dye. You're going to start in the middle. You're going to take your your scribe. You're going to just make a line. Make a line and then make a line. And once you start getting too much of the icing on here, make sure you clean that off because it'll it'll make it um, just so messy and it'll pull the mess along with it. And you do have to go kind of fast because see it's already starting to set up. And um, once it starts drying, it doesn't want to pull as neatly And some more, and another one here, and another one here. And some people like to do it the opposite way as well, and I'll show you. You pull it the other way, it gives you that nice kind of pretty um, scalloped look. 
pull it on in and keep doing a few more. Almost got it. That one needs some more. Mine one here. We'll do another one here and one here. And then lastly, you want to just kind of run it down and kind of swirl like that to what kind of finishes that tie dye look. So that's how mine turned out. Um, they're all very unique. Uh, so I'm sure that yours are really pretty as well. Now we're going to go back through and we might as well do a snowflake. Give the snow globe a little bit more time to, to dry before we put the finishing touch on it. On, it. Um, on the snowflake, get whatever color you want for your detail. I'm using white. You might want to use the blue like that one is. How you do this is you start in the middle. You squeeze a little bit out, and then you just, while, while squeezing the bag, you make a line, and then at the end, squeeze and release. Same thing again, just a little bit, a line, and squeeze and release, and then follow all of these edges all the way up. Just a few more. We're almost there. Okay, and now you can also do these in the middle, just for a little extra. And if you want to, you can add some sprinkles to these too while it's wet. And one more. And make them like sparkly and pretty and shiny. Put some maybe in the center so it glistens like snow. So there's that one. Now the last one is the snow globe. And we're gonna try to put this little snowman on here and uh, see if we can't do the black. The black is hard because it, it has to be so small. So it's okay to just go right over these little, um, the little sprinkles that you put on it'll cover it right up. So we're gonna do one circle for the top part of the snowman. And I'll let that kind of sit for a minute. And then we're gonna go on and do the next part to make it a little bit bigger. So he looks like a snowman. Make sure he's touching just a little bit with the top part. Just kind of move it around and it'll find its own its own um, level. It dries real nice and, and doesn't leave these blotches on there like that. Okay, one more for the bottom part. Do some more, make them a little bit bigger down there. There we go. And then while you're here, just add a little line so it looks like there's some snow that's built up around him. Right there. Okay. So, now here comes the tricky part. It's the little bitty tiny hat that we need to put on him and the gloves and, and the eyes and his little smile. Um, so, I have not opened the black yet. If you need to open yours, let's do that at the same time. The smallest hole that you can get possible. Be careful so that the so that the end doesn't fl fly off and end up on your cookie. <laughs> okay, so let's just test it and see. Let's see how it does. So just a little bitty line, yeah, and it's kind of thin. I'm not sure if you could see that or not, so let me try it here, like that. Okay, that'll work though, I think. We'll try it. You could just leave it just like that because it's just kind of a, the image of a, of a snowman, but let's give it a try. So you want to just make a line right next to the top of his head. And then you want to make a square on top of that. And then fill it in. 
That's not too bad. Okay. Now, what I like to do is because it's the eyes need to be so tiny, just put a little bit on the end of your of your pointy part of your stick and just give him some eyes like that. Otherwise, it's going to be so much that comes out that it'll be it'll be too big and it just won't look right. So we're going to try the smile. Let's see if we can get his little smile going without it making too big of a mess. Almost got it. Let's see. Hmm. It might work. Now that's too much. Let's do one more. Okay. Go up with it. That's not too bad. Okay, so now he needs some arms. So we're going to make a line going up. And go over for his hands. He's got some really big hands on this one. <laughs> and then here's another one. I'll do this one a little straighter. So it looks like a stick. Almost. <laughs> He's got some really big arms on mine. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So here are the cookies. And they are finished now. I hope yours turned out okay and you're happy with them and you learned some things about some tricks of and some techniques of decorating cookies. Thank you. Bye.